going to work from a sketch I did in the McDonald ranges of Ormiston Gorge and I'm going to use ochre paints plus charcoal paint and the only commercial paint I'm going to use is cobalt blue. Okay, well I'm using cobalt blue because I can't get any uh, blue ochres. Afghanistan and Brazil have lapis lazuli uh, deposits but I don't have access to those either. So I'm just using ochres plus cobalt blue. Right, that gets the sky on. Now I'm just doing a really nice wet underpainting. These are all... So I'm working from a, a sketch that I did quite some years ago in Ormiston Gorge. And I'm just mixing up all the different ochre colours that I have. Very old rock here with lots of serrations and broken up bits. I'm going to add a little bit of cobalt here, but it, a lot of it will disappear. colours of these rocks are very rich and these ochres are just the thing to capture some of it. And of course the ghost comes from Central Australia, so famous. Very difficult to mix a green, you can get a a sort of a green, even mixing the yellow and blue isn't terribly green, but adding white can often give a sort of an effect of green. While I would not use black normally for shadows, it's the only way to get really shadowy effects when you're using ochres. And that would show off the water a little better. So here it goes. These old rocks are, have a lot of fascinating and beautiful patterns in them. Now that it's dried, I can actually work it up a little more. Put a bit of red in there too. White, blue and yellow. This is the cobalt blue, of course. A bit more drying. Just some highlights of yellow there. Get rid of those three ugly shapes. Lovely long grasses. And then I want to go in between them with the black. If you put the black on first, it does dominate. Nothing will. Just to soften those trunks just a wee bit down here to weak as a colour to dominate unlike a white gouache or whatever. And I think we're just about done.